Hello everyone, welcome to a very belated episode of How to Be That Game. I just got my E6S clear and uh, had a blast. Um, love the fight, but man, week two pugs for this fight are brutal, especially late in the week. Uh, we have a rule in our static to where you do not pug any fight ahead of time. Um, on raid and raid release was on Thursday and uh, just had really bad luck um, and uh, I did not record my actual kill attempt but I'm gonna go ahead and just talk through my thoughts on the fight on um, some kill videos anyways I hope you enjoy and thank you for joining me so uh, I will actually let me go ahead and restart this so here uh, this is uh, uh, me and my code tank from my static Iva uh, amazing amazing tank and we also got in here um, our healer who is also our healer slash DPS with the static limb and our samurai DPS K who's also been on the channel before uh, everybody did really great and I was really hoping that this group could have had it and we just had some really bad luck but as far as this fight goes it's very fun to tank it really is I'm um, it's not fun to pug and that's because essentially with the way gear and stats are currently as of week two of this you know if a group's 480 475 I'm currently 483 at the time we're recording mostly just Neo Ishgardian um, I have the chest piece from Tomes um, tank wise none of the damage is too frightening uh, it's just it's not bad it's not too terrible the mechanics as a tank uh, being able to place the boss are really good um, we pretty much just employ pug strats for this um, Ivan and I have this down to essentially a science uh, we did have some hiccups along the way but uh, we're doing good now anyways uh, Garuda phase here um, I really do like the mechanics um, it, it was a little tricky learning that move right there and being able to keep my actual opener rolling consistently. Ooh, wow, forgot. Yeah, let me get really low for that one. But I do love the way this fight's structured. I do. I love how essentially, you know, you fight Garuda, she introduces you to her mechanics. Then you fight Ifrit, introduces you to his mechanics, okay? And then you fight him at the same time. Ooh, spooky. Not too bad, though. And then Ratapaxa shows up and can flag. Oh, can flag. Brutal mistress. But um, I really do enjoy this fight. I mean, look at the damage. 56%. Like, I mean, you know, for a pug, I mean, that's, you know, that's nothing too shabby. Um, you know, I was still experimenting here with what I wanted to do with this opener here. I honestly... Um, the balance hasn't necessarily, at least for gun blades, been, I don't know, I haven't spent too much time there for this, just because, you know, just learning the fight, and for a while there, pugs were doing all sorts of things kind of differently here. The one thing I'm not necessarily sure how to handle differently here is, I, I am shirking at this point of the fight, and Iva is taunting. But I still find I need to back off a little bit. I don't know if it's just the way Gunbreaker's damage explodes here. We're not far in damage apart at all. It's not like a massive margin. So I don't know. Uh, I feel like um, even on my kill, I unfortunately didn't have my static friends with me. But um, I had a warrior with me. And we were still kind of doing this like threat tango a little bit. And um, he was definitely better geared than me. So... I don't know. It's interesting. Anyways, learned a really interesting trick here. If you are facing north and both the Ifrits, this could be wrong. Please test it on your own. But if you are facing north looking at Ifrit and both the Ifrits are like their backs are to you, then southwest will be clear every time. I thought that was a pretty cool little trick. Um, we met a really cool friend today. Uh, his name is Connor. He has his own channel. I'll have to get the link to that if if he posts regularly. But anyways, um, yeah. So I kind of back off here. If you look, like uh, the threat is super close, 
and there's been times where you know if I lay into that gnashing fang and throw out my blasting zone then I'll pull threat and I just yeah I figure backing off just a little bit and ensuring that the meteor strike goes to where it needs to be anyways what we should probably do is just switch there but again yeah it's week two we're still kind of figuring out what works for us and our static but it's kind of cool though that the mechanics of this fight do allow um different strats to be used uh, like here um i go ahead and shirk to Iva here so we know guaranteed that it will be the um the <clears throat> aoe debuff will be hitting Iva every time and then i go ahead and taunt and move the boss over towards one um now i have seen it to where you know you can cut the tether and just keep the boss the entire time which is a totally viable strat um i think we just found it was better um for melee and pugs if like they just knew where that aoe zen was going to be at every time um but yeah so uh, 52 percent on effort yeah again this wasn't a kill cool video but yeah um really really enjoy this fight uh rack the packs uh, i thought or forgive me my lore aficionados if i am saying this wrong i caught him i've called him ratatouille i've called him everything in the book um Ractapaxa, that's right genuinely love this phase i do but my god conflag this week in pugs has been legendary truly exhausting uh, these DPS tethers. Now, what I do like about Ractapax is he's like essentially the first like half of his phase. He's teaching you his mechanics slowly, and then he just expects you to do it all at the same time here in a second. So yeah, I just go ahead and always reposition him middle for this. Uh, we do do it to where I will uh, dive in and take the. I'll dive in so I can take the um, debuff, the tank debuff, so people don't have to move out. I know right here we're about to head into uh, numbered partners. Yeah, what I like to do here is just, you know, hover closer to that nail, the um, um, the nail mechanic. I, I forget what it's actually called right now, but yeah. So here what I do is I'm just looking around, watching to see where we're going to be heading. This is pretty late at night, so yeah, we're just going to be heading straight south. So what, what I do here is I wait for that pop from the eruption, then I head in. Sometimes he's really nice to me, and he'll make it to where I can just run straight through, but then I just super belide and take it on the chin. So here, um, I cannot remember exactly how far this attempt got. I want to say it, it made it pretty decently far, but um, yeah, um, I, I'll be honest. I am very surprised at how much groups who kill Ramu, Rama, how much they struggle with conflag. Like that, that to me. Now it's not just you know. I'm not trying to be elitist or anything like that but i will admit i think it, there could be a case study done as to why so many people struggle with this mechanic coming up um this right here i have seen you know go very bad very quickly yeah people people just panic right there and it's it's baffling to me anyways yeah this was pretty good it's always that de second dps tether though uh, the tank healer tether, let's be honest, it, it is pretty easy. Um, but, um, yeah, we get to our numbered stacks. Uh, this might have been, yep, nope. Oh, Shazam, that's right. But let's go ahead and see. I think on this second attempt, we may have made it further. Nope. Oh, yeah, we started having a DC. That's what was so sad. We were doing so well, and attempt before this, which is why I started recording, we made it. Um, we made it to the DPS tether. I mean, Racta Paxa was really low, and we um, 
uh, just couldn't get past those DPS tethers. But I gotta admit, like, again, an amazing fight. Very fun. Congratulations, Square. I had a blast with this fight. Am I very happy to have my kill? Yes, I'm fully planning on helping my my fellow static members get the clear under their belts too but um, i'm very hopeful for progression this coming week i really think that we'll be able to get some solid progression in on this fight um what's nice is at this point me iva who are the tanks know the fight completely been to enrage way too many times lem are red mage slash you know spot healer he was our ma main healer last time know it and as well as our not other healer veru he's a white mage he knows the fight in its entirety he's been to it so we've each been able to pug it this week and get it further uh k our samurai he knows the fight in its entirety too so i'm very hopeful about this week of raiding uh we do have to fill a few spots um we just had some issues with um, people clearing things ahead of time and just really good players, but not very good raiders. And I might actually do a video on it sometime. I might see if I can get some of my static leaders in here to kind of discuss it. But um, yeah, um, seen a lot of toxicity this week. Whew. People are tired. But um, yeah, congratulations, Square. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I look forward to talking to you all again soon.